representation of images formed by spherical mirrors using ray diagrams. The intersection of at least two reflected rays gives the position of image of the point object. Any two of the following rays can be considered for locating the image. One, a ray parallel to the principal axis after reflection will pass through the principal focus in case of a concave mirror or appear to diverge from the principal focus in case of a convex mirror, as shown in the video. Two, a ray passing through the principal focus of a concave mirror or a ray which is detected towards the principle of focus of a convex mirror after reflection will emerge parallel to the principal axis as shown in video. 3. A ray passing through the center of curvature of a concave mirror or directed in the direction of the center of curvature of a convex mirror after reflection is reflected back along the same path. This is shown in video. The light rays come back along the same path because the incident rays fall on the mirror along the normal to the reflecting surface. 4. A ray of light which strikes the mirror at its pole gets reflected according to the law of reflection. The incident and reflected rays follow the laws of reflection at the point of incidence, point P, making equal angles with the principal axis. B. Image formation by a convex mirror. We studied the image formation by a concave mirror. Now we shall study the formation of image by a convex mirror. We consider two positions of the object for studying the image formed by a convex mirror. 1. When the object is at infinity, the image is formed at F behind the mirror. It is highly diminished, virtual and direct. 2. When the object is between infinity and pole, the image is formed beyond the mirror. It is diminished, virtual and direct. Uses of concave and convex mirrors. A concave mirror is used as a reflector in searchlight, headlight of motor vehicles, telescopes, solar cookers, shaving mirrors. Concave mirror is used in ophthalmoscope, for reflecting light onto the retina of the eye. The dentists use concave mirrors to see large images of the teeth of patients. A convex mirror is used as a rear view mirror in vehicles as images are small and direct. This gives us a wider view of the traffic behind. Convex mirrors are also used in reflecting telescopes. They are also used as reflectors in street lamps. As a result, the light from the lamp diverge over a large area.